as many as 3965 Volkswagen EG vehicles were on board the ship headquartered in Wolfsburg Germany the group manufactures its Volkswagen brand as well as Porsche Audi and Lamborghini all of which were in tow when the vessel set ablaze A spokesperson of the Porsche company said that an estimated 1100 vehicles were among those on board the Felicity Arc at the time of the fire. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Lamborghini's US branch denied to comment on the number of the cars the company had on board or which model were affected, but said that they were in contact with the shipping company to get more information about the incident. On March 1st, 2022, one of the most dramatic incidents in maritime transport history occurred when the cargo ship Felicity A sank off the coast of the Azores, Portugal. The vessel was carrying nearly 4000 luxury cars including Porsches, Bentleys, Audis and Lamborghinis worth an estimated 401 million dollars. The incident shocked the luxury car market, created waves in the shipping industry and raised questions about maritime safety and environmental risks. This catastrophic loss of high-end automobiles wasn't just a monetary blow, but also highlighted the fragility of global supply chains in times of crisis. Let's take a deeper look at how this happened and the broader implications of the sinking. The incident, how it happened. Felicity Ace, a 650-foot roll-on roll-off car carrier, was en route from Emden, Germany to the United States when disaster struck. On February 16th, 2022, the vessel reported a fire in one of its cargo holds, prompting an immediate evacuation of the crew. Fortunately, All 22 crew members were rescued by the Portuguese Navy without injury. However, the ship and its valuable cargo were left at the mercy of the flames, which raged uncontrollably for several days. The fire proved difficult to extinguish mainly due to the nature of the cargo. Many of the luxury cars on board were electric vehicles or EVs, and their lithium-ion batteries posed a particular challenge. These batteries can reignite after being initially put out. making fires involving EVs notoriously hard to control. Firefighting efforts were further complicated by the remote location of the ship and the lack of specialized equipment to deal with EV battery fires at sea. As days passed, it became clear that salvaging the ship and its cargo was a race against time. Despite several attempts to tow the vessel to safety, Felicity Ace began to take on water and eventually capsized, sinking into the Atlantic Ocean on March 1, 2022. The cargo, what was lost. The sinking of Felicity Ace represents a significant loss for both automakers and consumers. On board the ship were nearly 4000 cars, many of them luxury models destined for eager buyers in the US market. The most notable brands affected by the sinking were Volkswagen Group's premium lines, including Porsche, Bentley, Audi and Lamborghini. Some estimates suggest that nearly 1100 Porsches were lost. along with 189 Bentleys and an unspecified number of Lamborghinis and Audis. For prospective buyers of these high-end cars, the sinking created significant delays in supply shortages. Many customers had custom ordered their vehicles months in advance, only to see their dream car sink to the bottom of the ocean. While insurance covered the financial losses, The scarcity of these models and the already stressed global supply chains meant that some buyers faced months of additional waiting. One of the more intriguing aspects of the incident was the diversity of the cars on board. Alongside the luxury vehicles were also standard models from Volkswagen, highlighting how the shipping industry handles mixed cargoes in a single shipment. Nevertheless, it was the loss of the high-end cars that attracted global attention, particularly from car enthusiasts and collectors. Environmental impact: an underwater time bomb. The sinking of Felicity Ace also raised concerns about the environmental impact of such a disaster. Not only were nearly 4,000 cars lost to the ocean, but so were the toxic materials they contained. Each car carried a variety of hazardous substances including fuel oil and lithium ion batteries found in electric vehicles. When these materials are submerged, they can pose long-term risks to marine life and ecosystems. The location of the sinking near the Azores heightened those concerns. 
The Azores are home to rich biodiversity, including several species of whales, dolphins, and seabirds. The potential for oil spills, battery acid leaks, and other harmful pollutants from the sunken vessel warned environmentalists, who warned that the incident could have far-reaching consequences on the delicate marine ecosystems. In addition to the immediate ecological dangers, the question of what to do with the wreckage became a pressing issue. Salvage operations in such deep waters are complex and costly, and there's no easy solution to recovering the sunken cars or mitigating the environmental risks they pose. In the months following the sinking, marine experts and environmental agencies monitor the site for signs of pollution and considered potential cleanup efforts. The Role of Lithium-Ion Batteries, a Double-Edged Sword One of the key factors that exacerbated the Felicity Ace disaster was the presence of electric vehicles on board. EVs have been touted as the future of transportation, offering a cleaner alternative to traditional gasoline-powered cars. However, their lithium-ion batteries also present unique challenges, particularly in situations like this. When a lithium-ion battery is exposed to heat or physical damage, it can catch fire and enter a state known as thermal runaway. This occurs when the battery's internal temperature rises uncontrollably, leading to a chain reaction that can cause it to ignite or even explode. Once a lithium-ion battery catches fire, it is difficult to extinguish using conventional methods, as the chemical reaction within the battery can continue to produce heat even after the flames are put out. In the case of Felicity Ace, this meant that the fire likely reignited multiple times as the EVs on board caught fire, hampering firefighting efforts and contributing to the ultimate sinking of the ship. While EVs represent an important step forward for reducing greenhouse gas emissions, the incident highlighted the need for better safety protocols when transporting these vehicles by the sea. The Financial Impact – Who Bears the Loss? The total financial loss from the Felicity A sinking is estimated at $401 million, though the exact figure is difficult to pin down. This includes the value of the cars themselves, the cost of the salvage and recovery efforts, and the environmental cleanup. Automakers like Porsche and Bentley faced significant losses, though these were largely covered by insurance. However, the ripple effects of the incident extend beyond just the automakers. Dealerships and car buyers were also affected, as the sinking led to delays in delivery and increased demand for certain models. With the global supply chain already under strain due to the COVID-19 pandemic and semiconductor shortages, the loss of nearly 4,000 luxury vehicles added additional pressure to the automotive industry. In some cases, customers were forced to wait months or even a year to receive their custom-ordered vehicles. Insurance companies were hit hard as well. The marine insurance industry, which covers losses related to shipping accidents, had to bear the brunt of the financial fallout. The Felicity Ace incident serves as a stark reminder of the risks involved in transporting valuable cargo across the world's oceans. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll never miss an update. We'd love to hear what you think. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep chasing your passions and stay adventurous.